Hi guys, I'm back again and today I'm sharing a video with you of a special pickled bean that I like to make. Uh, when I first became allergic, I found this recipe and um, I thought there's no corn derivatives in it, I'm going to try this. Uh, at the time, I was still very new to being allergic to corn and the derivatives with it. So it was very hard for me trying to find something that I was able to eat safely. So I'm going to share this recipe with you. And it's called Dilly Beans. And this is my version. I have several cloves of garlic that I have already uh, cleaned and have and if I had to I had a very large bulb of garlic so the uh, garlic cloves were gigantic so I was able to cut them uh, so I didn't have to use as much garlic as normal in this bowl I have green beans that I have cleaned clipped and I boiled them for one minute in hot water one and a half minutes drained them and now they're in the ice bath so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my spices, which in this recipe I use three tablespoons of the canning salt, teaspoon and a half of fennel, two teaspoons of dill seed, and I think it's one teaspoon of red pepper flakes, which just gives it a kick. Now in my saucepan here, I have two cups of water and four cups of apple cider vinegar. You do not want to use white vinegar in this recipe. White vinegar is made from corn. So I'm going to get started with this, get the heat turned on for the spices, get those put in so that it can come to a boil. And while it's getting up there, then I'm going to be filling my jars, which I have already cleaned and sterilized. And I have my lids in the pot with the hot water. And we'll be ready to go here in just a minute. And as I said before, this is a canning recipe that I enjoy making. And normally you could use you didn't want to use the dill seed you could use sprigs of dill dill weed in it but because of where we live that's not available to us so I am doing the dill seed and I've got it turned on and I'm stirring it now for me these are a very tart bean and for me I like a to cut that tartness just a tiny bit. So I put a fourth cup of pure cane sugar into the vinegar so it kind of cut it down. Now it's going good. I'm going to start getting my jars. <coughs> Pardon me. And as I said before, I sterilized them. And I'm going to do four at a time. I'm not sure how many I'm going to get in this recipe. I had one thing I forgot to put in there is my salt. So we're going to get that added. Sometimes if I don't pay attention to myself, I can do that. <coughs> That's two three tablespoons. It's very hot and muggy today and when you've got a pre uh, canner going all the steam from it just adds to the humidity that's going on. Though I really don't understand why because we haven't had any rain. We've been in a really bad drought this year. <coughs> Okay, so now I'm going to start putting my garlic in. I'm going to do a couple of cloves. <coughs> Pardon me. It's like I've got, <coughs> I think it's the vinegar. Hold on. <coughs> that 
that's better. Sometimes the vinegar fumes will really get to me. Now when you're putting your beans in your jar, you want to make sure that they're short enough, and if they're not, you can actually break them, um, to go in the jar and leave your head space so that when you put the brine in, the beans are completely covered. And that's very important when you're doing this uh, recipe because you want the, all of the beans to be there and pickle. You don't want them to have issues. See like that one's too long so I'll just break it in half. And these are already pre-cooked so that um, they should pickle up just beautifully. And I love these. These are really good to have as a side dish or if you just want a pickly snack just grab it out of the fridge and pop the jar open and have one or two. So we'll see how this is going to come out. And as I said before, um, I wanted to share this. This was like the recipe that got me on my way to uh, cooking and living corn free. So it's kind of special. And it was important to me that I could be able to share it with you guys. I've been doing a lot of different canning of salsas, pepper jellies, using pectin that has no corn in it, and that's hard to find. And then making um, jellies, um, pepper jellies, just all kinds of good stuff. And the salsa came out wonderful. I got a good deal on Hatch Chilies at our Safeway and the jellies and pe uh, salsas just came out amazing. So I'm going to get these all in. I wasn't sure how many jars I could get with these. Um, the recipe says, you know, it'll make four pints. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more than that, maybe one, one or two more. And I'm sure that I will from looking at what I've got left in the bowl. And that vinegar is really strong, which I know is what's making my throat tickle because it's very acidic. It's just like when it's boiling, you really don't want to stand there and stick your nose over it and smell it. So let's get these all in there. And what I generally do once I get these all packed in, um, one of the things that I found I need to do is take a knife or if you have one of the canning tools that takes the air out and just run it around in the jar once you've put your brain in. Both of those are too big. So, jars might look kind of strange. I've seen them where they're standing all straight up and down. So pretty. Mine don't usually end up that way. That's not where it, the way they want to lay. They want their own thing. Okay. Yeah, that vinegar is really getting strong now. It's starting to heat. Got to let it boil for at least, um, I think it's a minute and a half. One minute. And then you start putting it into the jars. And I'm going to just grab a drink of water here. Sorry about that. That vinegar is really getting to me today. 
had that happen before and I try to make sure my face isn't anywhere near it but when you're standing here trying to fill jars it's a little hard to avoid okay now I'm starting to really get these filled up the way I want them to and as I said before you want to make sure that they're out of that head space so um, they'll be well covered and they'll do what you want them to okay get down in there I might be able to get one more jar by the time I'm done doing this maybe which is okay that's more than enough with all the dehydrating and canning that I'm doing this is kind of a little extra goodie to do only oh yep and I know that when you make these it's kind of you want to have them kind of long so you can just grab them out like a pickle and eat it but for me it doesn't matter just as so long as they're pickled and they look really good that's all that counts okay getting some nice full jars and I may just get just four jars from the way it looks I like to have them packed tight just like I do when I make regular pickles that's one thing I learned when I became allergic was I could not buy pickles off the shelf they generally are made with white vinegar they generally all have corn syrup in them and I wasn't going to risk it I made up my mind that I would start canning my own and that's the way I do my relishes anything that's pickled I do it myself because I make sure that I use the white vinegar or not the white vinegar forgive me <laughs> my brain is getting kind of fried I guess I've been so busy um, <clears throat> using the apple cider then I know it's safe okay I've got every one of those green beans in four jars I'm going to set this over here about the water this still hasn't come quite come up to a boil yet as soon as it does I'll turn it down or turn the timer on for one minute then we can get started getting the ready to can since I did not use as many jars as I needed to I'm going to throw some extra garlic in here to me that garlic and green beans is just oh it's my go-to food when I especially when I cook fresh beans I grew up basically canning foods since I was 13 14 I didn't really get into the canning part until I was about 15 my mom had me out there every summer so it's just kind of a natural thing that stayed with me over the years okay so I'm gonna pause for a minute while that gets ready and it's almost to a boil and then I'll come back and get the jars filled and then we'll get it in the canner See you in a minute okay guys I'm back vinegar is ready and it's as I said before it gets in your throat you got to be really careful sometimes I think I need a respirator um, 
so now gotta rinse my thing that I just dropped on the floor which is my funnel okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start ladling the vinegar into the jars just a little bit more then I'm going to get each jar filled then we'll put the lids on and get it ready to process thing about these the <coughs> mm. vinegar vinegar the hot pepper flakes that are in there really give it an added bite and if you can see that see how pretty it just looks beautiful and it literally <coughs> mm, starts pickling whoop I should have used the fennel um, one step ahead of myself here it literally starts to pickle it as soon as it hits them so and the vinegar is starting to even affect my husband he said he could really smell it over there okay just do like that I want to make sure that those are down in I'm gonna grab a butter knife So I can get down through there make sure there is no air make sure the garlic and the beans are down under that vinegar yeah there's not too much air in them they look really good so get the garlic down Make sure the beans are down. This too helps to settle the beans and the garlic a little bit more when you do this. There. This one. And let's see. This one. Okay. I'm going to <coughs> grab this tea tablespoon that I use. Put a little bit of that there. That'll settle that down like it should be and I'm just going to press them down a little bit okay all right so now I'm going to grab my lids and you want to put them on so they're hand tight because <coughs> they've got to be covered with the water in the boiling water bath I keep these in nice boiling hot water now one thing I forgot to do which I'm glad I caught myself because every one of you would be telling me about it I forgot to wipe my lids or my tops so what I'll do is grab another fresh lid right out of there And get that one tightened wipe this one down and do that one I still got a little bit of brine left so I can pickle something with it okay now I'll make sure these are tight because they will sorry they will work loose when they're in the boiling canner so the boiler is ready and look at that isn't that just gorgeous I'm gonna get get them in here 
And then I will show you the finished product once they're done. So I'll see you back here guys in just a few minutes. And the canning bath takes 15 minutes in order to process them. So see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. The pressure canner is done. I've been letting it sit for about five minutes or so. Now I'm ready to take the lid off and start pulling out those jars. Let's see what, how they came out. Look at that. Aren't those just beautiful? They came out so gorgeous. And now I've got four pints to put into my cabinet for the winter. And they won't be ready to eat for about a month because it takes about that long for them to really get pickled. So I get the fourth one out here. They all came out gorgeous. I hope all of you will try this recipe and put these up for your own family and enjoy them. And to give you a close-up view, move right over here and take a look at those. They are absolutely stunning. I'm very happy that I was able to get some done this year as I have missed my little treat for the winter. Another view of these beautiful beans. Um, we'll be back soon with a new video guys and I hope you take care and you try this recipe. I hope it works for you and that you'll enjoy it as much as we do. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.